Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss uh, multi-class classification in machine learning. First, we will try to understand what is uh, multi-class classification. When we want to solve any classification problem having uh, only two class labels, it becomes very easy for us to filter that particular data, apply any classification algorithm on the top of that particular data, train the model with uh, the filter data and predict the outcomes. But when we have more than two class instances uh, in the input train data, then it might get complex to analyze that particular data because we have more than uh, two class instances. Uh, train the model as well as predict relatively accurate results. We may get uh, results, but we may not be able to get the accurate results in such cases. To handle these uh, multi-class instances, uh, we use uh, multi-class uh, classification uh, here. Multi-class uh, classification is again a classification technique. It is not something different, which allows us to categorize the test data into multi -class, uh, multiple classes, you can say. Uh, this is a pictorial representation of uh, binary versus uh, multi-class uh, classification. In the left hand side, we have a binary classification where the data is uh, having only two classes and uh, we can classify this particular data relatively easy in this case. But when it comes to right hand side, we have a data with more than two classes. Uh, because of that, we cannot use uh, traditional classifiers to classify this particular data. Here we have to use uh, multi-class uh, classification technique here. First, uh, we will try to discuss a uh, few points related to binary classification. Uh, when it comes to binary classification, only two class instances are present in the data set. That's the first point. It requires only one classifier model. Uh, we don't need multiple uh, classifiers uh, to classify a given e a data into what we can say that uh, either of the classes. A confusion matrix is uh, uh, more than enough to understand uh, the results of binary classification. The examples for uh, binary classification are uh, checking whether a given email is a spam or not, predicting uh, the gender uh, of a person based on height and weight and so on. So in these examples, we have only two classes, spam or not spam. The second example, we have uh, 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 the two possible genders, male and female, given height and weight in this case. So this is a binary classification. In multi-class classification, uh, the number of class labels will be more than uh, two. That is what we can say that multiple uh, class labels uh, are present in the given data set. The number of classifier models uh, depends on the classification technique we apply because there are two classification techniques are there. There's something called as uh, one versus all and one versus one. Uh, the classification technique we use based on the number of classifiers uh, depends. In binary classifier, we need only one model, but here we need more than one model here. So as I said earlier, we have uh, two uh, classification techniques for uh, multi-class uh, problem. One is uh, one versus all. Second one is one versus one. We will discuss these two algorithm in detail in the uh, next uh, slides. The example for multi-class classification is uh, to check whether a given fruit is apple, banana or uh, orange in this case. So we have three types of fruits here. That is nothing but we have more than uh, two uh, labels. That's the reason it is called as a multi-class classification problem here. Now uh, we will start uh, discussing uh, the first algorithm for uh, multi-class classification that is called as uh, one versus all or one versus rest in this case. In uh, one versus all classification uh, for n class instances, let us say that we have a data set with n classes, we must generate n binary classifier models. Uh, if we have uh, uh, three classes in a given data set, we should generate three binary classifiers. If you have uh, 10 classes, we have to generate uh, 10 binary classifier models in this case. That is what uh, the second point says. Let us assume that we have a data consisting of uh, three classes, green, blue and uh, red. So what we do here is in the first uh, classifier model, uh, we create a data set consisting of uh, green at one side and remaining all data at the other side. That is uh, green versus red and blue. In the second classifier model, blue versus uh, green and red. Third classifier model, uh, red versus blue and green. Because we have three uh, classes here, we have three uh, binary classifiers uh, in this case. The same thing can be shown with uh, a diagram something like this. In the first case, uh, we have uh, one class and the remaining uh, two classes are at the other side. 
the same thing goes for the second classifier the same thing goes for the third classifier in this case now i will take a very simple example to demonstrate this particular part let us assume that uh, we have uh, three features in this case the first feature column second feature column third feature column the classes are green blue and red now how this particular data set will be divided is uh, for example we want to divide this particular data or you can say that uh, in the first classifier model we want uh, the data set should be something like this green versus blue and red so we will put one for uh, green minus one for blue and uh, red in this case so that has been shown over here uh, this is the original data set this side wherever there is a green i have put one and wherever there is blue and red i have put minus one here so we got only two classes in this case this is called as green versus uh, all in this case in the second case what we do is uh, blue versus all wherever there is a blue we will put one remaining everywhere we will put minus one similarly in the third case we will put one for red remaining everywhere we will put minus one i have shown those two uh, uh, part of or i can say training data sets over here now this is how uh, what we do is we will build uh, the classifier models on the training data now let us assume that we got a new uh, example with features y1 y2 y3 now how to classify this particular thing for example uh, whether this uh, new example belongs to red green or blue that's a big question in front of us so what we do here is we will pass this particular new example to all the three classifier models uh, the first classifier model let us say that uh, green uh, classify that particular example as uh, positive with a probability score of uh, 0.9 the second one that's a blue classifier uh, classify that one as again positive with a probability score of uh, 0.4 and red classifier classified as a negative with a probability score of 0.5 so first what we do here is uh, we will uh, there are two possible cases are there uh, uh, we have to see the majority voting in this case green and blue are classifying it as a positive so that is uh, the first thing we have to consider and within this particular positive the one which is having the maximum probability we have to consider so in this case 0.9 is maximum and which belongs to green classifier the meaning is the given example is of type green in this case so that is how uh, we can uh, classify a new example using one versus all or one versus rest in this case now coming back to the next uh, classifier model uh, for multi class classification is uh, one versus one uh, what we do in this case is uh, for example if you have a data set with n classes we have to generate n into n minus 1 divided by 2 binary classifier models for example if n is equal to 3 3 into 2 divided by 2 that is nothing but uh, three classifier models are required uh, i have shown that thing on the right hand side of this particular picture if n is equal to 4 4 into n minus 1 that is 3 divided by 2 4 into 3 is 12 divided by 2 6 so six classifier models are required now the question is how to construct those particular classifier models so what we do here is you can see in this particular diagram only the first case we have considered or we have created a classifier model for these two uh, part of the data set second one these two part of the data set third one is this one so this is how actually we have created a classifier model that is one versus one one versus one one versus one it is not one versus all it is one versus one in this case so i will take a very simple example again the data set consisting of uh, green red and blue so the classifier one is like uh, green versus blue so we consider only the part of data where uh, the class labels are green and blue second time we will create one more classifier with uh, green and red that is the data set consisting of green and uh, red as the class labels third one is blue versus red in this case so once you get these particular three classifiers uh, that is uh, we will uh, train on this particular training data whenever we get a new example uh, we will pass that particular new example to all three classifiers and then we will see uh, the majority voting for example the first one is classifying it as uh, green second one is classifying it as uh, green and the third one is classifying it as a red so green has uh, the two classifiers have classified it as green the new example must be green type so that is what uh, we think over here so this is a very simple uh, uh, way of uh, classifying uh, multi class uh, problem into one of the classes over here in this video i have discussed uh, how can we apply multi class uh, classifiers like uh, one versus all and one versus one to multi class uh, classification problem i hope the concept is clear 
If you like the video, do like and uh, share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.